Hey everyone, Ultra Microscopic Gaming Scientist here. What's up? Hope you're doing well, guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be saying you my third story. So before before saying my third story, let me sing you about Medusa. So Medusa is from Greek mythology. So I think you know about her. Let me say you. So she has snake-like hairs. If somebody sees her into her eyes, they become like stones. So what if I say you? There's a place on earth that has the same power of Medusa. So that is going to my story. That is going to be my story today. So it is Lake Natron. So Lake Natron is a salt or soda lake in her region in Tanzania. It is in Georgia Rift, which is in each branch of East African Rift. The Lake Natron in northern Tanzania is a salt lake, meaning that water flows in but doesn't flow out. So it can only escape by evaporation. High levels of evaporation have left behind Natron, sodium carbonate decahydrate, and trona, sodium sesquicarbonate dihydrate like at the Dead Sea and the Utah's Great Lake. It has a very near active volcano called Oldonio Lengai. This volcano spits out a rare kind of lava, which is rich in potassium, potassium carbonate and sodium. Natro, uh, or we can call it as natrocarbonatite or natron for short, which, which is being released into water by that volcano. So this mix of sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate which were once key ingredients in Egyptian mummification, creating a perfect preservative in lake form. So, if you if you get if some bird or some animal goes into this lake, so they 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 will become like stones and get preserved like mummies, ancient mummies. So unlike any bird goes in, doesn't come out because they get calcified in hard stone like husk. In 2013, wildlife photographer named Nick Bryant was the first to document this phenomenon. Brand theorizes that the high reflective chemical dense water acts like a door, glass door, fooling birds into thinking they are flying through an empty space. So this lake, so this lake acts like a, a mirror to the birds. So they think if if they are going to lake, they think they are going to empty space. So many birds and some other unl unlucky animals lost their lives in, like this. So not long ago, a helicopter pilot tragically fell victim to the same illusion, and his crashed aircraft was rapidly corroded by the lake's waters. So I think in 2007, a helicopter, a helicopter and a group of uh, wildlife photographers uh, crashed the helicopter into lake uh, by the same illusion. So their crashed helicopter was rapidly corroded by, the, cor corroded by the lake's water. So now you can understand how much powerful the lake's water are. So unlike those other lakes, Lake Natron is extremely alkaline. Due to high amounts of chemical natron, a mix of sodium carbonate and baking soda in the water, the water's pH has been measured as high as 10.5, nearly as high as am ammonia. The alkalinity of the lake can reach a pH greater than 12. As you might expect, few creatures live in harsh waters, which can reach up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So 140 degrees Fahrenheit can cause a third degree burns, so which is very harmful. They are home to just a single fish species called Alcolapia, Little abris and some other uh, toxic algae. So the lake waters provide a home, a safe home from predators, making it perfect flamingo breeding grounds. So even flamingos live here. But if flamingos could live there, can't we? Unluckily, it's not so easy. Flamingos live in salty lakes because of the tough skin and scaly legs, which prevent burns. They can drink fresh water from nearby hot springs or in geysers at the edge of the lake. If they are desperate enough, they can even filter the salt water with a special gland in the nasal cavity. Their strong stomachs also help in digesting the toxic algae which is all over the place. This makes Lake Natron perfect breeding grounds and perfect place to raise the babies for flamingos. So you wouldn't be directly turning into stone but if you get drowned or remain to be submerged, your body will be slowly turning into stone and get preserved like ancient mummies. If even somebody sees you after hundreds of years, hundreds and thousands of years, your body will be perfectly preserved. Even your hair will be there, even your body organs will be intact to you. So you, you could survive the Lake Natron's water. So, But I would rather go to some swimming beaches or swimming pools if I were you. So that's it for this video, this is Ultra Microscopic Gaming Scientist signing out for now and we'll be back again with some other interesting video, goodbye.